Computer vision capabilities have rapidly been advancing and are expected to become an important component to incident and disaster response. However, majority of video analytics are not meeting public safety's needs due to the lack of appropriate training data and requirements. In response, through a partnership with the New Jersey Office of Homeland Security and Preparedness, we've developed a labeled imagery and video data set to support response and research. As this data set is for public safety, we started with community outreach to identify their needs and expectations. You put me in Puerto Rico, you put me down in Harvey, you put me in the Florida Keys where all the cell towers are down and there's nothing, guess what? There aren't no cell phones and there might not be any sat phones. As we saw in, in, in Harvey, it was an entire, it was a small city of Wharton, Texas. You know, and that's, that's a really large area to go into blindly and, and not really know what's going on because the communications are down with the public. They can't really identify what hazards are there. Um, and no other rescuers have been in that area. So the sooner that we can get some type of intelligence on that, that area, um, the better we can plan and prepare our people for the environment itself. I think even the short-term vertical takeoff and landing systems, they can give you the real-time tactical intelligence of your area of operation before you have to put people in harm's way downrange, it, it's invaluable. I mean, we oftentimes, you know, uh, enter environments that you kind of have somewhat of a description from people, but you can't actually physically see it um, and actually uh, transmit to your people what type of additional personal protective equipment they want, might want to bring in um, because you know you didn't realize that there's power lines that are now down you know maybe 200 yards down the road that you can't see or an overturned uh, tanker truck with some type of placard on it that says it's methyl ethyl death that you know you wouldn't have known uh, had you started traversing that particular area that hasn't been uh, reconned yet. Based on our outreach and review, this data fit should help develop capabilities that improve incident and threat descriptions, improve two-way situational awareness, and minimize implementing new workload or policies. For this initial data set, we focused on body-worn camera law enforcement scenarios of a foot pursuit and approach in an incident, and an urban search and rescue wide area search scenario. These were selected because they are common scenarios nationwide and maximize the utility of the data set. For the law enforcement scenarios, officers often spend time completing reports, driving, knocking on doors, or speaking to people. These tasks have many features of interest, such as an inside of a vehicle or a group of people, which can be captured using representative video. Sensitive and private operational law enforcement video, which is often difficult to obtain, is not required to capture the technical features of interest associated with many daily law enforcement activities. Public safety outreach indicated a need for an airborne-based data set to support search and rescue operations. A common future vision is sending a drone ahead of the search team to identify regions that are the most affected and should be prioritized. However, we found that both commercial services and open source benchmarks can struggle with this type of imagery. For example, a highway surrounded by flooding was classified as a runway or heliport. These existing models lack the training data to understand what was depicted in the image. In response, we've labeled hundreds of thousands of operational images collected by the Civil Air Patrol. These images were previously released into the public domain, but just as raw images without labels. Since the Civil Air Patrol is a nationwide asset, we've labeled a wide range of relevant public safety features across different environments. Most excitingly, the corpus of available images will continue to grow independent of our dataset effort. This dataset will be a risk reduction to enable academia and industry to tailor applications for public safety. 
it will also improve existing commercial and open source capabilities to be more robust to incident and disaster imagery.